Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I made it back to Berlin with the Honda. Before I go home, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I brought on this trip because you asked me a lot. And yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, let's first start with what I'm wearing. I basically wear the same things that I wore in Iceland. That is my uh, textile suit, my boots, the Touratech Destino Adventure boots, the modular system, really cool. Underneath the suit, I'm wearing thermal underwear, some layers of jackets, fleece jackets, you know, all the stuff that keeps you warm. Just cheap stuff from Amazon, nothing fancy or anything. Uh, what I wear new this year is my bum bag or side bag or leg bag. I don't know how people call it. It's actually really, really handy. I keep my cameras in there, my little Insta360 cameras or also my GoPro that I'm filming with right now. So that is very, very cool. Um, yeah, that's basically everything I wear on the body. Let's talk about the backpack. All right, I went with a backpack, like I just also not an expensive dry bag because I wanted to have all my valuables, all my um, equipment, all the electronic stuff. I always wanted to have it on my body. First of all, that when I leave the bike, I have it right with me. So I don't leave anything like the iPad or stuff like this on the motorcycle. And second of all, it always stays warm because of my body warmth. So let me just open it up. That's my drone, DJI Mini 2. Awesome little drone. And what I love about it is that it is so small that I can just put it in the backpack. Then I have some power banks, some cables, all this stuff you need. And this bag is uh, like a lot of spare parts, a little spare camera, plastic stuff, cables, uh, cleaners, uh, anything you can imagine that you need to record something. Here's my iPad. I edit all my videos on the iPad and also including like hard drive that I make the backups on. And yeah, that's in here. Just have a little beanie that keeps me warm when I'm walking around. And here have some spare batteries, GoPro batteries. Yeah, that's basically everything that is in the backpack. And yeah, the backpack and this little bum bag here, or leg bag, basically replaces my tank bag because I didn't think that was very practical in Iceland. I didn't like it so much because you always have to remove it when you fill up the tank or when you go somewhere, I always had to bring it. So I went with the backpack this time and that was a very good decision. On the motorbike, I only have the dry bags now. I didn't go with the hard case anymore because I don't really need it and it saved me a lot of weight. In this dry bag, I have all my camping stuff. Also, the tent is right here. You have seen that before in the videos. Sleeping bag in it, my sleeping mat, insulation mat, and my clothes are all in here. You know, a sweater and the spare pants and you know, just normal stuff, underwear, that's all in here. So in the left pannier, I'm having my toiletry bag, my rain suit. I had to use it a lot on this trip. Also just some stuff that I need at the campgrounds, you know, some rubber sandals, food. I store a lot of food in here, it's, right now it's empty. I have my camping cooker, my jet boil, that's amazing. Drinking bottle, you know, my let's do this mug. Really cool, awesome. Some cooking stuff. And that's basically already it. There's not so much going on on the right side. Uh, here is basically everything I need for the motorbike. My rain cover for the bike. Uh, what do I have in here? It's just some, some chain lubricant and a funnel for little repairs. My toolkit. my air pump you have seen that a lot before 
my jump starter, extra fuel bottle, but it's empty now. And yeah, just some more, some more tools. Just basically everything I need for the motorbike, for repairs, all this stuff, maintenance, that goes all in here. It's also not much, just, you know, the basics. This is my Abelis lock. Always have it on the bike. And it's very solid, very heavy duty. And yeah, keeps the Honda safe. So the phone is actually mounted on a vibration dampener. Many of you ask me about that. It's just from eBay, came from China, five euro, it's for action cams. And it keeps you from damaging your camera while you have the phone mounted on your handlebar. Because of the vibrations, I already destroyed two cameras of the phone until I've got myself one of those. And since then, it's all good. So this one here, that is my fuel friend. It says the brand's called Fuel Friend. Uh, it's most of the time it's empty. Uh, I just fill it up when I know, okay, I'll go somewhere where I don't know. Will there be enough gas stations or whatever? And I fill it up and then I have one liter spare. If you have seen the Iceland journey, you know we used it already. Cool. Okay, friends, that was already everything I brought on this journey. Already less stuff than on the Iceland trip. That made me very happy. I'm quite okay with the set setup right now. I have to get some new bags though. You can't see it right now, but they're already starting to rip apart a bit. I used them for uh, many trips already. So that's okay. It's about time for some new saddlebags. If you guys know any cool brand, that you would suggest, let me know in the comments. I will replace that as well. It's very old, I bought it used on eBay. It also starts to fall apart a bit. Like, you know, all these little buckles here, they, they start to break now. So for the next journey, I'll get me something new as well. But other than that, I'm super happy with my cameras. You see the picture quality is really good. I'm gonna get home now. I'll have to find a good mechanic for the Honda. I can bring you in the shop next week. Hopefully we can be back on the road very soon. I have some big plans for this year. You guys better stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.